BEDZ is certainly set a new benchmark and it's influenced the industry enormously and it has been described as the most significant housing project in the UK in the last 50 years and it has inspired people all around the world. One of the key things for us, because we weren't architects or engineers but we were heavily engaged in a project, we brought a, a kind of thinking of I'm going to live here, I'm going to work here and how can I live sustainably which I think is a lasting legacy. BEDZ was a test case on so many grounds. There was quite a lot of uh, research and design while we were on site and, what, and during the process of design. The wing cows, for example. The combined heat and power plants a good example of something that actually failed and quite famously failed. We were, we were adventurous at BEDZ. We actually put in a few bits and pieces that weren't fully tested in the way, in the same configuration as we were installing them. Not everything here has worked, but overall a lot of things have and we've taken the things which have worked and, and really learned from those. So for example, we have learned that it's only by creating a whole sustainable lifestyle that we get very good carbon savings and ecological footprint savings. So we really make sure in all our developments that we're really pushing the whole sustainable lifestyle, not just green buildings. The, probably the reason why BEDZ hasn't really taken off as a model building type it's probably the oldest story in the world is that the construction industry is quite timid, conservative. There are certain things that are more palatable now to the building industry that wasn't palatable at all at the time that Bedzed was built. It's all about cost and housing is all about cost and it's trying to get it as cheap as possible. But what we did get out of it is that the Code for Sustainable Homes was using quite of the stuff that we learned here to actually write new policy. The lessons learnt at BEDZ have informed the Code for Sustainable Homes, which is what the whole of the social housing sector has to build to. So we have government watching what happened at BEDZ, and out of that really, when you look at some of the topics in the Code for Sustainable Homes, so lifetime homes, water, energy, reducing the need for energy, all of that is within the Code for Sustainable Homes, and all of that can be seen within BEDZ, which predated that. We've got the zero carbon homes policy, so all new homes will have to be zero carbon by 2016. And as part of the zero carbon homes policy, they will be introducing mandatory um, energy efficiency standards, um, are much higher than we have at the moment, um, which are more in line with what BEDZ achieves. Another thing is here, this project as a prototype, it was expensive, so we've looked at where the costs came in this first project and we've looked at making sure that those are not incurred in future projects, so we've looked at cost-effective delivery uh, in future. And so all these things have come together to enable us to uh, start replicating these ideas all around the world and to do it cost-effectively at the same time. This is more than uh, a pilot project, which there are a few in Toronto that you can go to, but they're much smaller projects and creating bigger projects that have this sense of intimacy, but in more urban environments would be what I'd be interested in doing. In fact, now 100,000 homes across the world, either being constructed or in planning, have been using the One Planet concept. So it is scaling up, it's getting easier all the time as green technologies become more cost effective, new technologies are coming into play all the time. So we're gonna see a massive um, acceleration in this field over the next few years. In terms of the appearance, there are some people who don't like it because it's too strange. I quite liked it from the beginning. I like the coloured wind cowls. It's much better than having them grey when it would look like a factory. I like the roof gardens and everybody knows it. It's a major landmark of anyone passing through. Uh, when I try to explain where the church is, they say, never seen a church. I said, opposite bed said, oh yes, I know. Mm -hmm.